Welcome to the Visibility Vixen Podcast, where we create space to grow our brand with intention and clarity, one episode at a time. Join us as we explore the many aspects of entrepreneurship, start loving the journey instead of the destination, and begin building a legacy that lasts. Here's your host, Michelle Lewis. Hey, welcome back to Visibility Vixen. I am excited to be here with you today. We're in the home office, as you can see. The hair is a little wild because it is a wild, rainy day in LA. Few and far between, so I am enjoying it. So today, we are transitioning into a new month, and that is Systems Month, yay! I've been thinking about this for about four months. I've been waiting for it to come, and now it's here, so I am thrilled thrilled to be doing that. This is the second month of me instituting a new month by month strategy. And I have to say that it is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. It helps me create so much content and do it in advance so that I can sit back and focus more on being creative. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to be doing this month, the cool people that are going to be coming onto the show. Ah, I'm excited. And um, just kind of what you can get out of this month so that you can really start maximizing your systems. It's okay if you're if you feel totally panicked. It's totally normal to be like, uh, I'm not really sure what to do with my systems. That's okay. I am here for you. And for me, I when I first started out, it was very terrifying because I had no idea. I knew that there were online courses. I knew that I wanted to start an online course, but I had no idea how to actually make that happen. So I spent about six to eight months researching, researching, researching. I tend to be a little bit of an over-researcher, but it took me a long time to figure out what's gonna go where, what software am I gonna use for this? It was really kind of terrifying, and it took me a very long time. So my intention for this month is to take you slowly but surely through the different aspects of systems so you can feel more confident, more comfortable, and have more time for your creativity. Does that sound good? Okay, so first let me tell you what what is the uh, free download that you can get so that you can maximize your systems. And I will have the link for that below. You can go to visibility.com forward slash gifts. And I have two different freebies that you're welcome to download that talk about systems. The first one is the Simplify Your Systems Workbook. What I've done is I've broken down the key tools depending on where you're at in your business. So if you're a like just starting out entrepreneur and have no idea what to do, I've got you covered. If you've been in business anywhere from six to eight months and you have kind of an idea but aren't sure if you're using the best systems, I've got you covered there. And if you're more established but looking to free up your time, I've got you covered there. And in the back of that, there's actually a um, a full rundown of all the systems I use in my business. So I hope that's helpful. And like I said, you can get that via the link below. The other thing that you can also opt into if you're interested is the Clean Your space, which is the five day challenge that's currently going on right now, but you can opt in at any time. And I'm taking you through kind of how to get a clean plate, meaning your home is clean because that's my number one stress. If it's dirty in my house, I can't work very well. Number two, let's get our desktop with all of these folders organized so it's less overwhelming. We're also gonna be cleaning up our inbox, cleaning up our photos, and coming up with just a better design overall of our working computer space. So you're also welcome to join me for that. In the upcoming weeks, I really wanted to talk to some of my favorite ladies who have really just kicked butt in their systems. And the first one is Nikki Nash, who will be here with us next week. And she's going to be talking to you about how to book discovery calls on autopilot. She's giving us a little back end view into how she pretty much has her calls booked ahead of time, doesn't have to do any of that communication and just has to show up for the call. What, especially when you're starting out, you have a lot of discovery calls and it can drive you crazy having to email back and forth and check schedules. It's just, it's a nightmare. So we're gonna simplify that for you. The following week, we are gonna have the fantastic Melissa Farr back on the show. I'm so thrilled for that, especially since I've transitioned into video so you can see her face and just fall in love with her personality as I have. And we're gonna be talking all about funnels. 
She is going to be unleashing a free training in the upcoming weeks where we can really get to understand how email funnels work for sales. So I thought this would be perfect because I've been hearing a lot online about funnels and I know it can be kind of confusing. It's definitely not how I would start out with my business if you have no idea what's going on, but if you're six to 12 months down the road, it's a perfect time to really start working on your email sequences. And to wrap up Systems Month, one of the girls I absolutely adore, Kimberly Jimenez, is coming on the show, and we're gonna be talking about workflow. Workflow. Ah! Workflow is one of the hardest things to master because especially if you're either working a nine to five, you only have maybe one or two hours a day to devote to your business. So how do you maximize your time so you're getting the most work done? Or if you're a full-time entrepreneur who has left your nine to five, where do you get started? How do you manage your day? How do you keep track of your tasks and not feel totally overwhelmed and just end up going and hiding at a coffee shop, which I've done. So she's gonna be coming on the show too. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is just a really easy, comfortable introduction into online systems. When you're starting out, and I'm gonna call you entrepreneur because that really covers all my bases, but this is also really applicable for online coaches, it can feel really confusing. And so what we tend to do is dive into website design. We either choose Squarespace or WordPress, nothing wrong with either, but we spend so much time trying to perfect our site that nothing else really gets done. We maybe are checking into a Facebook group every once in a while, but in terms of forward momentum of actually booking people to get them on the phone or to actually make sales, it doesn't happen because we're so busy working on our website. So I wanna encourage you to take a step back from that online production and really focus on what really matters because systems are not going to help you clarify your business. They're just not going to. They're a tool to help support your business, but if you don't have clarity on exactly who you are, who you help, and what you offer, no amount of systems in the world is gonna help you, my darling. So I wanna encourage you to go back, especially through the different YouTube videos and podcast episodes I have, where we're talking about business pillars. Have you defined your business pillars? They help with everything. They help with your videos. They help with your live streams. They help with your branding. And that is what is really helpful for your systems. So for me, I have four pillars. You may have, I wouldn't say to have more, but you can definitely have less. You can totally just start with one. For me, mine is branding, video systems, and live streaming. Those are my four pillars. That's where all of my content stems from. So really take the time to figure out what is my one pillar or what are my two pillars right Write them down and then write down in categories, kind of little, I'm going to just say funnels because it's fun for each one. Like, what can you talk about? So if you're talking about like, well, my pillar is health. Okay. What are the different aspects of health that you can talk about? That's really going to help you figure out what you can offer, especially in your discovery calls leading to what if they're going to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with you? What is that journey going to look like? You don't want to be vague because there's so many online coaches now that if you're like, well, I'm going to take you on a health journey over the next four weeks, they're going to say, well, how? You can say, well, on our calls, we'll talk about what you're eating and how you're exercising and we'll just get you to a much healthier place. That is not specific enough. They are not going to sign up with you. So you really need to be able to flesh out all of that. I wish I would have done that in the first place. It would have saved me a lot of time before you start moving into this. So we're taking a deep breath. We're calming ourselves. We know what our business fillers are. We've done some of the homework with that this is the time that you can start working on your systems. So if you download that Simplify Your Systems freebie that I have for you in the link below, that can help you see if you're just starting out, you just need two things. You need an email responder and a landing page. And if you use ConvertKit, both are included in one. That's what I do. That's all you need. Not even a website yet because you're just looking to build your list. If you're in phase two, where you're sort of figuring things out but treading water a little bit, this is when you start bringing in your website. This is when you start getting clarity on your work with me page and your about page so that you're sending people to something that they can really be like, ooh, I'm really getting to know who she is and what she stands for. And then when you get down the line to being a little bit more established, that's when you can start getting a little bit more excitable with like checkout pages and automations and building your first 
e-course. So um, I'm trying to think of where I can best help you today. Let's talk about your first freebie. I think that would be a good place to start. Yeah? Okay. So freebie is pretty much any gift that you can give somebody that um, is going to opt into your email list in exchange for giving you their email. So you give them something of value, they give you their email address, which goes into your email responder. This is a great place to start because it helps you really start figuring out what your specialty is, what you absolutely rock at, and it gives people the opportunity without actually having to spend money to see if they like working with you. So. I think this is a great place for you to start. So start thinking about what you can offer. It can be really simple. It can be a checklist. It can be an ebook. It can be a training video. It can be pretty much anything you want. My only thing would be don't put way too much work into this. I mean, you don't want the workbook or an ebook to be anything longer than five or 10 pages, I would say. So make sure that you're really uh, making that minimal. Um, make it awesome, but make sure that it's minimal. So once you've created this freebie and a great software to do that in is Canva, which is free, then you have to figure out how are you going to package it and actually deliver it to your consumer. So this is the part that used to really confuse me, but don't worry, I'm going to help you get there very easily. Um, I do recommend using ConvertKit for this, but if you are using MailChimp, I believe that the way that you can do it is once someone opts in that they can get a like kind of like a welcome email which has the link to this freebie so you can youtube that and they'll show you much better than i could right here face to face but if you are using convertkit it is so simple you can create the landing page there and then in the settings of that you can actually upload the freebie so once they confirm their email it gets delivered right to them. This is such a time saver, guys. It is so easy. I love it, if you can't tell. And I'm a huge um, advocate for ConvertKit and actually uh, got rid of lead pages because I find this to be so much easier. So you can absolutely do this. Um, it's really important to make sure. Uh, double check your freebie. Once you've downloaded it, double check that it looks right. Sometimes Canva it gets confused with some of the coding sometimes and like some of the words might be off center or whatever. So be sure you double check it. If you want it to be clickable, if you want people to be able to type into it, if you want it to be interactive like that where they can click where it says download something here or go here to see more of whatever, you can do that at pdfescape.com. Uh, that's what I use for all my workbooks for my online e-courses. It's so simple and I love it because that way people can be taking notes and they don't have to waste paper by printing it out. They're welcome to, but they don't have to because they can take notes digitally. So I do that. I deliver it with ConvertKit. You can also, if you're doing like a link, you can also put it on like an unlinked web page and give out that link if you're delivering it via MailChimp. That's an easy way to do it too. So does that kind of make sense? You build your landing page, whether it be in lead pages or convert kit, then you say what it is, exactly what they get to learn. And that's the link that you give people in Facebook groups or your newsletter or Facebook ads or however you're getting your name out there. That's the page that they go to to enter their email address, which then delivers the freebie to their inbox. This is a great way to add value and make sure that you're kind of thinking ahead in terms of once they get that email, how will you continue that relationship? So that is more of a funnel, which we'll be talking about with Mel in two weeks. So I think that that's a pretty good basic of how to start working with your freebies. Think outside of the box, you know, think about what everyone else is doing. What is everyone else talking about and how can you do something a little bit different? What's your skill? Are you incredible at Instagram hashtags? Does that really help you grow your audience? Look at what other people are doing. There's tons of people offering freebies for Instagram hashtags. So how can you really customize it? What is your brilliance with Instagram? Is it that you're a photographer and you're absolutely rocking it because you know these specific hashtags and strategies? Then maybe you wanna really niche down to only offer this freebie to aspiring photographers to blow up their Instagram following. The more niche down you can be, the better. 
So really consider that when building your freebie. In terms of an ebook, what is information that you can share that they are dying to learn? What is something they just cannot wait to read about? Maybe they're struggling. Maybe they're just looking to make their first hundred bucks online. Forget the thousands and tens of thousand dollars we see in Facebook ads. They just want to learn how to make their first hundred bucks. Can you speak to that? So there's so many different availabilities that you can do online in terms of teaching with this freebie, but make sure that it looks professional, that it's done with excellence, that it really builds your know, like, and trust, and that it starts your audience on a journey. That's what they want. They want a journey with you. The reason why people unsubscribe is because they don't really care. So that means there's no investment there. They haven't built anything with you. So they're not losing anything by unsubscribing versus being on other entrepreneurs' lists where they're constantly offering great advice or value or action taking. They don't wanna unsubscribe from you because they know next week is gonna be something really valuable. So they're staying on your list. So those are the different things to consider when building your first freebie. And I really hope that that resonates with you and is giving you some inspiration of what you can provide to up your list. It's always great to have a list that's independent of any social media platform because they're just not trustworthy. They're fantastic. And I don't think Facebook's going anywhere anytime soon, but if I have emails in my email responder, I know I can reach my list at any time and I'm not dependent on Facebook or Instagram or any any other platform for my audience because I know that they're right here with me. I've got all of their emails. So stay tuned for an incredible systems month. Be sure that you download the freebie below. Stay tuned next week. We're going to be talking to Nikki Nash. And if you have not joined the Facebook group, Visibility Vixens, I highly encourage you to do so. That's where a lot of these visibility conversations are coming into play. And I cannot wait to see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Thanks for listening in today to the Visibility Vixen podcast. Subscribe now and share with a fellow Vixen who wants to start building their visibility. For more fire in your life and brand, visit visibilityvixen.com.